The writer of Psalm 84 was not limited in his church attendance by COVID-19. The writer of Psalm 84 could freely attend the church in Jerusalem. The problem then was the huge distance, the time, and the effort that it took to go to church. He couldn't just pack the kids up in the minivan, jump on the highway, and just show up. He would have to walk, pack a lot of food, take some money and unpaid leave for the long trip to Jerusalem. In fact, it was so challenging that his trip to church could only be afforded maybe once or twice a year. But he still wanted to go. And that's putting it mildly. Because the writer of Psalm 84, as you'll see, was super excited to go to church, to attend church, to feel the presence of God. If you share in the desire to attend church services here or church services somewhere else, but you've not been able to attend in the same way that you used to before COVID hit, I invite you to listen to Psalm 84, where God understands your frustrations, where God understands your valley of fears, where God still blesses those who do what is right. Please listen to these paraphrase words from Psalm 84. How wonderful, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. I have this strong longing, this strong wish, this strong desire to enter the courts of the Lord. In fact, I get faint in the head, I get weak in the knees with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. You know, the presence of the Lord. To enter with my whole being, my body and my soul, where I will shout joyfully to the living God. And you know, God, even the sparrow has a home at a place near your altar. And even the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar. What joy for those people who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those people whose strength comes from the Lord, who have made it their intention, who have set their minds on making a pilgrimage, a journey, to your dwelling place. And when they walk through the valley of weeping, when they walk through the valley of tears, when they walk through the valley of difficulty, of hardship, that valley will become a place of refreshing springs because the seasonal autumn rains will clothe that valley, that place, with blessings. Those who travel the way to your courts, those who travel the way to your presence, will continue to grow stronger. And each of them, each of you, will appear before God in the sanctuary in Jerusalem. O oh God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O oh God of Jacob. O oh God, we pray, show favor upon the king, our shield. Yes, show favor to the one that you have anointed so that we, the people, will be blessed. A single day in your court. A single day in your presence is better than a thousand days anywhere else. Look, I'd rather be a gatekeeper greeter at the door sill in the house of my God 
than to live the good life in the homes and the estates of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sun. The Lord God is our illumination. The Lord God is our shield, our strength, our protector, our defender. He gives us grace and he gives us glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those people who trust in you. Words of prayer and praise from Psalm 84, the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen.